Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're doing yet another comparison between the Canon RF 85mm F2 IS STM and the 28-year-old Canon EF 85mm F1.8. All right, guys, I actually shot this comparison at the exact same time I did my previous comparison between the Canon 85 F2 and the 1.2 RF lenses, so the images will be the same and the process will be the same. I used a tripod so the camera did not move, and I shot both lenses at the exact same settings. So with that being said, let's get right to it. Okay guys, let's get started. So all these images are straight out of camera with the Adobe Color Profile turned on, lens corrections turned off, and I've matched the white balance on all these images to get the most accurate comparison. Let's get started. On the left, we have the brand new RF 85 F2, and on the right, we have the 28-year-old EF 1.8 85mm lens. And this is pretty incredible at the fact that this lens is 28 years old and uh, using the Canon EOS R5 here, uh, it definitely is able to keep up with its 45 megapixel sensor. But looking at these images, off the bat, you're able to see that you have more background blur on the old 85 1.8. Just like in my previous comparison, the RF 1.285 millimeter also had more background blur. Some people pointed out in the comments that's because of focus breathing. That could be it. I'm not really sure uh, what else it could be, but the EF does give you just a hair more background blur. Also, you're getting more light in the EF version. Lens corrections are turned off on both of them, and it looks like the RF does have some vignetting, but uh, vignetting wouldn't make the, the face and wouldn't make this much of a difference in, in lighting because if I turned the corrections on on both, you would see how much brighter the EF would be. Zooming in, both of these images are actually really, really sharp, but you're going to start seeing the first difference, the way the lenses render color. So the RF is just a more accurate lens. There's more contrast. You actually kind of get a hazy look on the EF 1.8. And that's because the EF 1.8 is 28 years old. It doesn't have any of the new modern coatings or modern kind of lens design. And keep in mind that this image here is shot in ideal lighting situations, right? We're not in harsh light. We're not in a tough situation. And you can see how much more contrast the RF 85 F2 uh, captures versus the EF version. Also, it's more color accurate on the RF F2. Another surprising thing is they both actually have purple fringing in my wife's ring. So not much has changed there. Again, we're comparing two uh, very affordable 85 millimeter lenses. So they're not gonna be perfect, but just wanted to point that out. Let's go ahead and go to the next image. Same thing here, guys. We have the RF on the left, EF on the right. It's a brighter image on the EF version, more background blur. Again, looking at my wife's clothes, you can see there's just more detail, more contrast with the RF 85. Zooming in, they're both actually very sharp. They both do have purple fringing in the ring here. What's Again, what's surprising is the EF definitely, again, and to, to point out, this is ideal lighting situation. So if you push it towards harsher lighting situations, it's gonna fall apart, right? But for ideal situations, you can just use a dehaze tool in Lightroom and bring back some detail and add some contrast and you're, you're there. But overall, the RF just produces a sharper image more contrast and more color accurate. Pretty surprised so far what I'm seeing. Uh, let's go ahead and go to another set of images. Looking at this image here, you're able to see how they render color a little differently, right? So again, have the same white balance and you can see that the EF version is definitely cooler and the RF version actually has a hair more magenta. But overall, both images look good. Again, just like the previous images, more contrast and more detail here on the RF version and you can just see it off the bat here. It's kind of just like a, like a light haze on the EF version. Not terrible, uh, but you can see how the modern lens design, modern coatings do make a difference. Now let's go ahead and try a different type of lighting environment and see what that looks like. Okay, so in this set of images, you can clearly see that the EF is pulling in more light. And this is one thing to, to note guys, just because both lenses are either 1.8s or 2.0s, that does not mean they're gonna pull in the same amount of light, the light transmission. And that's why cine lenses use a, a T-stops versus F-stops. That way it's a more accurate way of reading how much light the lens is letting in. And here we can just clearly see that the EF 
the EF is pulling in more light. Zooming in, same story as previous images. The RF is just a sharper lens. There's more contrast, there's more detail here in the clothes. And on the right, you can see just a hair softer. You can see a little bit, actually both shots here have some green fringing in the ring. Both shots actually have similar bokeh balls, but the RF version is just a sharper, more contrasty lens. And for the final set of images here, I accidentally shot the EF at 1.8 uh, versus F2. Uh, not too much of a difference, of course. Naturally, this lens already lets in more light, so it's gonna be just brighter at 1.8. Zooming in here, you're able to see more sharpness on the RF version, more contrast, more detail in the clothes, versus kind of that hazy look you get on the EF version. Now, I forgot to actually test uh, close focusing distance uh, in this shoot with my wife. So I ended up doing a little comparison back in the studio when I got home. And here's how they compare at close focusing distance. So here you can clearly see that the RF F2 does have macro capability. So you can get in super tight and get that detail. And obviously at F2, a macro lens, you have such a narrow um, depth of field. You can see how just everything just melts away here. And on the right, you have the EF version at its closest focusing distance. Good shot, but clearly not a macro. And I think that's where the RF 85 F2 really does deliver kind of a good bang for the buck where you're getting a good portrait lens and a macro lens. Now let's go ahead and do a video comparison to see how both these lenses do using continuous autofocus with the subject walking towards the lens and then recap our findings. Okay, what did you guys think? I thought it was actually a very interesting comparison. I didn't expect a 28-year-old Canon EF85 1.8 to actually be any good on the Canon EOS R5. One thing that cannot be understated is, with Canon's new mirrorless cameras, this is the RP, the R, R5, or R6, they do a phenomenal job with adapted lenses. As a matter of fact, I think adapted lenses on these cameras do better with these cameras than they do with their actual native DSLRs. The reason being is you're actually focusing with the sensor versus a focusing system. So from my experience, all EF glass seems and performs better with the R system. And this is no exception. A 28 year old lens with old coatings that was designed for film actually did a pretty decent job with a modern day 45 megapixel sensor. And for me, that was the biggest takeaway. With that being said, clearly the RF 85 millimeter F2 IS STM is the better lens. It's the newer lens. It's got Canon's latest technology, latest coatings. It's got IS, it's got macro capabilities, and it's only about $200 more than the old EF version. So if you're looking to pick up an 85, the RF F2 is definitely the way to go. Now, if you're looking to upgrade from the EF 1.8, I still think it's worth the upgrade because you're getting IS, you're getting macro capabilities, you're getting a native RF lens, which means you don't have to worry about an adapter. And overall, it's just a better lens. Now, this comparison was shot in very good lighting. It was not shot in challenging lighting or in high contrast situations. In those situations, the EF lens definitely falls apart. You get that hazy look, you lose contrast, and because of that, you get the appearance of losing sharpness. And again, with the RF 85 F2, you have a modern lens design with modern coatings, so you won't run into that as much. So overall, this was a fun comparison. I did it because you guys kept asking for it, and yes, I know, all you guys are asking for the Samyang 85 1.4 versus the RF F2. The problem is, I can't get a hold of that lens unless I buy it, and I can't justify buying that lens for a YouTube comparison. So, Samyang, if you're watching, you wanna send me a copy, uh, I would love uh, to, to do a comparison review on it. Otherwise, guys, I don't see it happening anytime soon on the channel. But as always, thank you for watching. Please like this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.